Hello, everyone, and welcome to Learning with Jelly. We are on lesson three, and this is going to go over SAS data and proc steps. So we're just going to briefly go over what a data step is versus a proc step. This is very important because data and proc steps make up pretty much your entire SAS program. We're also going to look at an example in SAS on demand for academics of data and proc steps. And we're also going to touch briefly on reading the SAS log. That way you're able to troubleshoot your errors. Now, I've already posted two videos out. If you have a chance to look at them, the link is gonna be in the bottom of this video in the description. And it is going to go over SAS on demand for academics in order to get started with that. And it's also going to go over SAS variable types. So we talked about character versus numeric variables, things of that nature. Okay, just as I mentioned, the two building blocks of a SAS program are going to be the data step, which is going to create and modify your data sets, most likely your SAS data sets. However, you can import raw data, CSV, and text files into SAS Studio on demand for academics. And it's going to be your proc step, which is also for data processing, or I like to consider it the procedure steps. So both of these procedures or data steps, better yet, go hand in hand. The SAS program code that you see below utilizes a data step to create a variable called month and then uses a proc step to print it out. So we're going to actually jump into SAS on demand for academics to try out typing our own data and proc steps. You can copy, well, you can't copy and paste this image because it's a video, right? But you can type this into SAS on demand for academics yourself just to see the printout. Before we hop into SAS on demand for academics, remember that these steps are made up of statements and statements end in a semicolon. So if we look here, this data step has four statements, one, two, three, four, and this proc step has two statements, one, two. So looking for those semicolons to know what a statement. So statements make up steps and steps make up SAS programs. Okay, so let's just jump into SAS on demand for academics. Like I said, I posted a tutorial for getting introduced into this interface. This is a very common interface that people use for um, academia. So if you are using this interface, feel free to check out that first video. That link will be in the description. So we are going to just replicate the code that I already showed you guys in that PowerPoint. Remember that in SAS On Demand for Academics, you have this Libraries tab on the left-hand side, and you have all of these SAS help data sets that you can work with in order to practice your SAS coding, things of that nature. So I'm going to double-click this airline data set, and what I'm going to do is pretty much create another variable called month from this date column, and I'm going to print that out. So in order to modify the data, we need a data step. So I'm going to say data, and I'm going to call this airline create, and that's the name of the new SAS data set that I'm creating. And then I'm going to have this set statement to read from the data set that I want to read from. And in this case, it's sashelp.airline. And then I'm going to create a variable called month that's just going to equal the function of month on that column date. And then I'm going to run it. And then I want to print that out for me. So we're going to do this procedure step called proc print. We're going to do data equals airline create because that is the name of the SAS data set that I just created above. And then we're going to run that. So remember from the second tutorial that everything that you create, if it doesn't have a library that you're saving it to, is going to appear in our work library. And that is a temporary library. That data set, in this case, airline create, will go away once you exit out of SAS Studio. So let's just run these two. 
And here we see the results. So this is from the proc print procedure. See how we have this new variable called month and it's showing us the month based off of the date column. And it's the numeric month. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that program worked how we expected. The data step modified a existing SAS data set, which was stored in our SAS help.airline library. And the proc print actually printed that out for us. Now, let's see what happens if we th throw an error on purpose. So for instance, I forgot the semicolon after this SAS statement. So let's run this and let's see what SAS does. The first thing it's gonna do is show this red X, which lets you know that you ran an error and it's gonna bring you to this log. So in this case, it's telling us somewhere around these two lines, there's a syntax error and it's missing one of these special characters. And so when I look at this, I'm like, oops, I forgot that semicolon. So I just go back to my code, fix it. And then when we rerun it, it shouldn't run an error. As always, be sure to save your SAS programs. You all can actually go into SAS Studio on demand for academics, or if you have this base SAS software downloaded on your computer, and you can run the same code because everyone has this same data set that's stored in this SAS help library. So that is a brief introduction of data and prop steps in SAS. Stay tuned for more videos as we become SAS programming experts. Thank you so much for tuning in with Learning with Jelly.